All right, here we are. Just completed the quest with Arian, or a bunch of quests. Getting the, key to the old tower. getting the key to the old tower. Key to the ruins. The key to the old tower. Who knows what's down there? There could be knowledge that's been lost for a hundred years. We're just going down there to see what attacked Wizard Boran. I know, but while we're down there, we can at least look around. The entrance is on the east side of the island. Come on. I think I see it on the map. There she is. Come on, open the door and let's see what's in the ruins. I do not see a door. What the heck are you talking about, Arian? I thought it was like in the basement. Let's walk this way and see. like a mystery. You explore and wander and wander. Wander and wander. Camera stuck. There we door and let's see what's in the ruins. So I saw said open door. Top down dead tree now it's behind. Open door. There we go. Oh. Use your key to unlock the door. Okay. I feel silly, but you know, first time through, right? This is amazing. We may be the first people to come down here for a hundred years. This must be the Chamber of Shrines. The senior wizards used it as a meeting room, and wizards joining the tower would pledge allegiance to one of the four orders here. I've read about it, but I never thought I'd see it. 
the greatest magical innovators of Gilinor once walked this room. Yes, it's inspiring. We should keep our minds on the job. Is there anything valuable we can loot? Yes, it's inspiring. I wish we could spend more time exploring the ruins. If I can, I'll stay down here after we've done what we came for. You said there were once four magical orders. Okay, what should we do now? You said there were once four magical the orders. Was made up of wizards from all over the world with wildly different philosophies of magic. They arranged themselves into four orders dedicated to different gods. Blue, green, red, and gray. Tell me about the blue order. Wizards worship Saradomin, god of goodness and order. He's the most widely worshipped god in human lands. The Blue Wizards believed magic could be used to help people and focused on non-combat spells. They invented most of the enchantment spells in the standard spellbook we use today. After the first tower was destroyed, it was the surviving Blue Wizards who rebuilt it. The new tower is still a Saradominist institution, although these days a lot of wizards only pay lip service to the religion. Tell me about the Green Order. The Green Wizards worshipped Guthix, god of nature and balance. According to the Druids, Guthix created the world and then entered a deep sleep. Before the rise of our current civilization, the other gods went to war with one another for control of the world. After millennia of fighting, Guthix awoke and banished them, so they could no longer intervene directly. It was a follower of Guthix who discovered the rune essence, and the Green Wizards were the old tower's experts on rune crafting. Their statue depicts their founder transmuting a lump of rune essence into a stack of runes. Tell me about the Red Order. The Red Wizards worshipped Zamorak. Most people today see Zamorak as a god of evil, but for the Red Wizards, he was a god of chaos, personal strength, and creativity. Legend has it that Zamorak was once mortal, but he stole the staff of a god called Armadil and used it to ascend into godhood. Their statue holds a staff in memory of that. The Red Wizards focused on destructive spells, especially ones involving fire. They invented most of the battle spells that made their way into today's standard spellbook. Tell me about the Grey Order. There are other gods besides Saradomin, Guthix, and Zamorak. The Grey Wizards were those who worshipped lesser known gods, such as Armadil or the Menophyte Pantheon, or were non religious. The Grey Wizards didn't invent many spells but they made some of the greatest contributions to pure magical theory. Their statue sword symbolizes a sharp mind cutting into the heart of a matter. Okay, what should we do now? We need to get deeper into the ruins to the source of the power beam. It looks like that rune guardian is blocking the door. Examine statue. Wizard holds a staff in one hand, conjures a flame with the that must be the red one. Holds a sword with her hair while her hair and her robe stream. That must be the gray one. Wizard, you have proved yourself worthy. All that remains is to determine the order to which you will belong. Yourself worthy. All that remains is to determine the order to which you will belong. Are you ready to be tested? joining the tower. Originally, you wouldn't be able to get to this room without passing the entry tests.
What is this creature? What does the test involve? I'm ready to be tested. How about what is this creature? It's a rune guardian. The secret of making them was lost when the old tower was destroyed. It must have been standing at that door for a hundred years. Yikes. Must be hungry or tired. What does the test involve? I'll ask you a series of questions. Your answers will reveal the order to which you are best suited. If you disagree with your allocation, you may take the test again. He says, yeah. He's purring like crazy. Alright, so I just have to answer some questions. Easy enough. I'm ready to be tested. First question. behind in your school because you're sick test coming up your place in the tower is safe you if you fail you lose some respect another apprentice offers you an opportunity to cheat cheat only enough to make up for the illness and catch up cheat as much as you can don't cheat i wouldn't learn anything don't cheat as it would be wrong don't cheat as it would be wrong Second question. An elderly wizard, the last practitioner of a unique branch of magic, dies. Her diary might contain details about her unique magic, but her will states that the diary should be destroyed on her death. Elderly wizard, last practitioner of a unique brand of magic, dies. Her diary might contain details about her unique magic, but her will states that the diary should be destroyed on her death death. Destroy the diary without reading it. Copy out the most important information, then destroy it. Pretend to destroy the diary, but actually keep it for myself. Put the diary in the library so all wizards can study. Destroy the diary without reading it. Rival wizard spreading lies about you has made you laughing stock of the nearby village. They believe you are of low intelligence, poor moral character, throw vegetables at you when you visit. What do you do? Challenge a wizard to a magical duel in front of the village. Try to reason with the villagers and convince him he's lying. Appeal to the wizard's better nature. Ask him to stop. Play practical jokes to knock him down a pig in return. Appeal to the wizard's better nature asking him stuff. The fourth question. You have become a senior wizard and are asked to take on an apprentice. The boy is talented but undisciplined and does not apply himself outside his areas of interest. What is your approach? Question about having an apprentice. 
constantly challenge and force him to learn discipline, show patience and compassion, so he has a safe place to grow, concentrate on his weakness so he receives a balanced education, give him the resources to develop a series of interests. I'll go with the last one. Any ritual, make up my own mind, but stop the ritual, it may be corrupt in a way I can't detect. Make sure the demonic influence is balanced by other influences. Go ahead with the ritual, but focus on my personal safety. Um, go with the second one. Welcome, Blue Wizard. I'm a healer. Archaic wizard hat. Set your title to Mangler 3M the Blue. I don't see any hats. Wouldn't that be in my backpack? First tower hat. Wonder if that's it. Hmm. Remove path hooder. Yeah, let's put that. Hmm. I guess it doesn't show up. Oh, it did show up. Ooh. Interesting looking. <laughs> it's like glowing or something. Book quest list, I need that. Alright. Does so it say I can open this door? Yeah. Here. I could jump that. Can't you teleport us? Can we use power beam somehow? Let me look around. I'll think of something. I could jump that, but how would you get back? Examine beam. Looks like the power beam extends deep into the old tower. Okay, that's... Climb behind statue? Why would I do that? Statue would fall down, wouldn't it? Hey, what are you doing? I'm making us a bridge. Your what? That's a statue of Eritona the Green who negotiated the treaties with local rulers that let the wizards transport runes from the essence mine. You can't just push her statue down. You have a better idea? Well, no, but be careful, okay? Try not to damage the statue. Wow. That was magical. Cross statue.
go down there. I can go forward with her. Let's talk to her. This is it. The heart of the old tower. The central spell casting chamber where the old wizards performed their most powerful rituals. It's amazing. I never imagined I'd see it in person. I wish I could have seen it. Try not to get overexcited. I wish I could have seen it. So do I. Most of the spells we use today were invented in this room. Wizards of all four orders cooperated for the sake of magical research. These vortices look like the one that attacked Wizard Warren. I want to find out what they are. Hmm. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it. Attack. How about attract? Isn't there an attract one? How about wind? Airstrike? Needed use to my airstrike. How does that work again? It's a number, right? I hit one or something. Focus your mind. Anticipate incoming attack. Let's try the blue one over here. They see me, that's good. Started to chase me. Did I die? Seeds look like the one that attacked was it born. I want to find out what they are. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it. Why is it going crazy? I'm just clicking on him. Must have misclicked or something. There we go. It's in. These vortices look like the one that attacked Wizard Warren. I want to find out what they are. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it. Keep it there. Good question. It moves all over the place.
How do I keep it there? That is a mystery. These vortices look like the one that attacked Wizard Boris. I want to find out what they are. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it. It disappeared. I mean, I got it. Nope. Came back. Here's another one. This is interesting. This gray one's going crazy. Oh, maybe that little meter is... Needing to fill up. Yeah, see how that light? I have to wait till that goes all the way. Half done, keep it there. Nearly done. Hey there. How do you hold still? I can't hold still. That's it. Got it. your work, but the old wizards literally put part of their souls into the power beam. Yikes. Why would they do that? They must have wanted to create a very powerful magical effect. I don't know what they were trying to do, but whatever it was, it went wrong. This is. I think this is what destroyed the first tower. I think there was an enchantment keeping the vortices here, but someone has removed it. Now they're able to go up the beam to the new tower, and you saw the trouble they can cause. Who might have removed the enchantment? like we weren't the first people to come down here after all. I can replace the enchantment that was keeping the vortices here, but it'll take some time. While I do it, you need to go back to the new tower and delay Cedridor's casting of his Icenic Purge. What do I need to delay him? Energy, but these vortices are attracted to magic. 
All that'll do is draw them up into the tower and make it impossible to get rid of them. I can restore the enchantment that kept the water seas in the ruins, but I need to do it while they're still here. How can I delay him? I don't know, but I'm sure you can think of something. If he's casting an Icenic Purge, he'll probably be in the library on the ground floor. Okay, I'll do that now. I get there quicker this way? Probably not. I don't see any other doors. Oh, I can open the study store. Let's go that way. Maybe that's a shortcut. Underground. Hey, you can explore once we've finished dealing with these water seas. Or not. Library door. Hey, that's where I wanted to go. Library. Sedra door. We're going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to take a shortcut. I'm upstairs. Looking for a center door in the library. Who's that? Why is she casting something? Cedra door, I found it. Casting the Icy Purge as I see. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant and I are casting an Icenic Purge, and we must have silence in order to concentrate. You have to stop the Icenic, Icenic Purge. Ignores you, continues casting his spell. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant. Can I distract you for a moment? Ignores you, continues casting his spell.
bottom floor. Try again. How can I distract him? What can I do? Examine him. Master of the Tower. Play organ. Yeah, let's do that organ trick. Now the professor's here. I could talk to other people too, but I bet if I do something. Like play the organ, I can stop it. Hmm. Don't have my spell out in front of me. Please don't be all that adventurer. Hmm. I distracted him. I must insist that you step away from that organ. Aha! Think that worked. Organ trail. <clears throat> Giving her time to do her thing. Removing all these enchantments. Let's keep going. Maybe if I do one more, it'll be enough. Or, I mean, I could go. Break my concentration once more and you... Oh, he's upset. Let's do it again. He likes these keys down on the bottom. The ones without letters on them, like down here. Break my concentration once more and you will feel the wrath of the Grand Archmage of the Reborn Tower. There we go. Seems to be working. Ha <laughs> ha. is complete. Thank you, fellow wizards. Whatever these entities were, they could not have survived such a powerful wave of magic. Adventurer, I suggest you leave the library and find your friend, Ariad. Tell her not to worry. We have dealt with the problem without any help. Mm-hmm. Have you now? I think I messed you up enough. I could go f check on her, I suppose. Everybody's gone. Where'd everyone go? There she is. He's out. 
How'd it go? She's like, I fixed everything. It was close, but I managed to restore yes. the vortices are trapped in the ruins again. Awesome. Thanks for your help, adventurer. I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> I have a question. Do you know who removed the enchantment? Do you know who destroyed the old tower? Tell me about the four orders of the old tower. Do you know who removed the enchantment? That's what I'd like to find out. They were a powerful wizard, and they knew what they were doing. This was a calculated attempt to damage the wizard's tower. There are Zamorakian magical orders who resent the tower's monopoly on the rune mysteries. The Zamorakian Magical Institute, the Dagon High, may be more we don't even know about. They've attacked the tower before, but it's always been more direct. This is the first time they've come close to doing real damage. Do you know who destroyed the old tower? The last major discovery the old tower made was the inner secret of the rune mysteries. The teleport spell to the rune essence. I don't know for sure, but I guess that somehow led to the tower being burnt down. Maybe one of the orders wants to keep the rune mysteries to themselves. Tell me about the four orders in the old tower. The old tower was made up of wizards from all over the world with wildly different philosophies of magic. They arranged themselves into four orders dedicated to different gods, blue, green, red, and gray. Yeah, same thing. Tell me about the blue, red, gray. Okay, other questions. We already went through this. Blue is more like healing. Red is more like fire. Thanks again for Green is like druid stuff. And gray is more thought-provoking, not as many spells. Or bigger enchantments. Happy to help. Well, thanks again. I found some things in the ruins you might be interested in. They're yours if you want them. Rewards? No, I don't have room. 70 mind rooms. Oh. Whatever that means. Air talisman. Magic lamp. I'm going to head back down to the ruins to study the vortices. I want to find out what happened to the old tower and who released the vortices from the ruins. Meet me down there if you want to help. Ah. Another quest. Congratulations, you completed Rune Mysteries. You got 11 quest points. Or I'm up to 11, one or the other. Awesome. Give me lots and lots of stuff. Level up. I'm level 12. Alright, rub magic lamp. I think these are just like leveling up stuff. Yep. 250 in magic. Sure, why not? Level up. 26. Level 26 in magic. Mind Rune. Lots of books. Crossbow would be nice. Keen Blade would be nice. I think I'm still using the magic wand. Alright. 
Let's head back down and see what's up. Oh, I got a bunch of keys over here. Let's do this quick key chest thingamabobber. Double dragon chests. Double dragon? That game was from a long time ago. Ah, I can choose a fallen star, a small lamp, or a small fallen star for range. Um, I'm guessing the first one. You get three of them. Ooh, I get, oh, I get to triple it. I could do three stars, three mining, or three construction. Uh, I guess three, I choose that three. Three stars, whoa, my whole backpack's full. Need more space. Let's see if I can use this. Use all small stars. Strength, confirm. Yay. Did I level up? No. And that was it. Okay. Let's move in. Let's see what Arian wants next. Will they let me cross? They will not. Talk to the rune guardian again. Open door. I'll talk to him first. I think he's blocking it again. He says, how much money are you going to give me? Welcome, blue wizard. Oh, he came right across. He says, you're good. I want to pick a different order. Never mind. Sounds like you can just talk to him and switch it anytime you want. Did that change my hat? Isn't that a blue hat? Looks blue to me. Cross statue. Statue's face down. That's funny. Climb down staircase. There she is. Talk to Arian. I think I'm close to finding out what happened here. I need to work on this on my own for the moment. I think I'm close. I've got a question. Same exact four questions. I will skip those, but I will explore now that I'm down here. Let's try the study store again. Done with the vortexes for now. Whoa. I like a window? Weird. Wait, I saw something that said examine. Examine. Ooh, another path that way. Let's go that way soon. That looks awfully closed. Looks like something exploded or some bomb went off or something. I'm gonna find a magic chest around here that's got like 
five million everything. Just think. Hey, let's try this way. Seems possibly something. Aha, there's a chest. A chest, but I can't click on it. I guess it's a decoration, like a picture. Alright. That's all I see here. Back out. Let's go the other way. I like that you can see through walls. So interesting. Here's a table and two chairs, three chairs, four chairs. Nothing here, huh? Absolutely nothing to click on. There's a broken chest with a hole in it. Examine blank flag. Blank flag marks the gray master study. Examine the Guthics flag. The green master study. Ah. This must be the Zamorak for the red. Red, yep. And then the Ceradomen, which is blue. That's me. They're just trying to make you remember all that stuff. I bet this is nothing in here either, but I will look just in case. Whoa, lots of rocks in here. Looks like everything got destroyed. Let's go in that direction. Nope, I can't even enter that one. That is weird. Okay. So if the green one was destroyed, which one looked the best? It was probably the gray one in the back corner. So if one destroyed them all, it would have been that one. Alright. Let's go to the library. Check it out. Big room. Not much of anything in here. I'm hesitant to even explore. It looks pretty empty. I'll, I'll do one walk around. Just in case. Bump into something. Examine shelves. Hey, back, back, back. Somewhere it's in. Oh, there we go. Examine shelves. Wizards of the Odd Old Tower once stored books on these. I still see some books.
don't think I can enter that next one. There wasn't anything. It was kind of blocked. And there was nothing saying I could. Whoop, that's another flag. Rune store flag. Flag was marked. Secure rune store now inaccessible. Tower flag. Okay, so that's it. I've explored and I don't see anything and she didn't want my help. She can talk to me, but that's it. I guess there's no more quests with her at the moment. I probably need to go out and explore and continue on previous stuff. I think there was a button over here that said quests. Quest list. Here we go. Alright. Druidic Ritual. Let them eat pie is green. Wolf whistle is green. I think green means complete. Swept away. I've agreed to help Maddie prepare a batch of, wool, of the good stuff that she's concocting in her cauldron. Needs to stir her potion with a broom that's been specially enchanted by three witches. She's given me a broom that has been prepared for the purpose. I need to have the broom enchanted by Eddie in Remington, Aggie in Draenor, and Betty in Port Sarum. Let's try that. Quest area has been marked. World map. Let's see if I can get there quicker than walking slowly. This world map looks awfully interesting. Let's go to the surface. Anything been marked? I said Port Serum Betty was one of them. I remember that one. There's a quest there I can do. There's a quest there I can do, and a quest there I can't do. Okay. Well, let's go here. Look for Betty. It said it was on the map, so maybe once I get there, I'll see them. Goblin level two. All right, on the map, we are looking for Betty. Let's try the world map and then we'll go to the regular mini map. You are here. Altar. Which is potion? Hetty. That's a different one. Quests now available. Interesting. I'm not seeing Betty. I must have to just randomly look for her. Someday I'll learn how to use a map. Where am I on this map? I must be in the smack dab in the middle. Let's go this Anyone seen Betty? Bet she's in one of these doors. That one has flowers on it. Maybe that's it. That would not be. Eat for 
storage? No. Try that room. Nope, that is just a man. That is just a woman. Look at range. Okay, I wanted to cook. Thief, thief. Talk to the face. There's a door out here. Let's try the door. Lots of flowers. <laughs> Don't jump, dude. Ladder. Can look up. Nobody. mugger in there. There's Betty. I found her. I killed the mugger. Take the rope. Talk to her about swept away. Wondering if you could help me out with an enchantment. I suppose that depends on your sort of enchantment you're looking for. Well, Maggie needs her broom enchanted so she can finish the stuff she's brewing in her cauldron. I see. She's brewing again, is she? Well, I'd be happy to help. Maggie always comes up with the most amazing brew. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, Maggie always likes things on the spicy side, so what I really need for this sort of enchantment is my wine. I keep it down in the 
in the cellar in a locked chest. You could retrieve the wand, bring it to me, I'd be happy to enchant the broom for you. Just one little problem. What's that? You see, my chest is locked by highly magical means. I'd explain it to you in detail, but I haven't the time. You'll you'll find my apprentice Lottie downstairs. Just pop down the trap door over there and tell her I sent you. She'll be happy to explain, to be all too happy to explain everything. Okay, thanks. Open trap door. Climb down trap door. There's Lottie. So, what do you want then? Who are you? What are you doing in the basement? I need to retrieve Betty's wand. I need to retrieve Betty's wand. Betty sent me down here to fetch her wand, but she said there might be a small complication. Well, I'll say there are complications. Betty has a penchant for intricity. Intri intricacy. You're not able, you're not going to be able to get the wand until you get that chest open. That sounds simple enough. What's complicated about opening a little chest? Well, chest in which Ma Betty stores her wand is magically sealed. I won't confuse you with the details right now, but here's the deal. Chest is simply not going to open until order has been restored to Betty's menagerie. What do you mean? What menagerie? Well, if you want, if you have a look around, you'll see that there are six separate chambers, each of which is designated to house house a little clutter. Oh, critter! Each creature has an enclosure that has been made especially for it, but at the moment, several of them are out of place. What you're saying is we need to put each creature in its proper enclosure in order to, open, order to open the chest. Exactly. But I should warn you, these are very sensitive creatures. They really don't like each other. So what does that have to do with anything? First things. You, have to, you can't carry more than one creature at a time. Second, you can't carry a creature through the door of a chamber which contains another creature. You have to move the creatures one by one. You can use the holding pen in this room to help shift them all into the right position. One more thing I should mention. You shouldn't have to move the bat and the snail at all. They are already exactly where they need to be. Now, if you have any questions, or want me to put the creatures back into the arrangement they're in now, just let me know. There, here is a magic slate. It always shows an overview of exactly who is where. You can use it for reference if you like. It's not necessary, but I find it helpful. Okay, thanks. Move creature holding pen. All right, let me, I probably have to move a creature to the pen. Blackbird pen. Okay, so the blackbird needs to go in the blackbird pen. Oh, the blackbird is already there. Now I need to move it to the room it needs to go to, so... Where are the doors? Rat pen. Reptile pen. 
bat pen. Bat's already there. Don't go to the bat pen. Spider pen. Ah, the rat is in the spider pen. So I need to move the creature that's in the spider pen. Alright, I moved the rat out of the... I didn't mean to take that into there. Oh, he can't even be in that general room. Well, he's in the wrong pen. Still have the rat with me, right? Okay. That's the snail pen. I don't want to move it there. Okay. I think I get this. It's like a puzzle. You have to move everything around. You can't have it touch the other thing. So what I really should do is move the rat back into the spider pen. I think I get it. Alright. Who's over here in the rat pen right now? That looks like a reptile. Reptile needs to go into the reptile pen. Okay. So, in order to get him to there, this one has to go to somewhere else. Alright. I moved the black... This looks like just a regular puzzle with seven pieces and you move things around and you decide where everything goes. And the spider in the snail like where they are but they're blocking the way to get everything else out to where it needs to go well first something has to go to the holding pen so let's get the blackbird to the holding pen out of the way and then that causes everything to be able to move Put the blackbird in the holding pen. Good. Okay. So now the blackbird pen is empty. Now we need to start filling up these back ones. So if we put the spider in here, then that one's empty and we can move things around. If we put the rat one in here, that one can go in there. We could do the rat one. Okay, so if I put the rat one here and then that one there and then that one there, then the rat one would eventually end up back there. Oh, wait, we went the reptile back there. Oh, so I should go here, here, and then the reptile goes up. Okay. No, no. Rat goes here, here. Spider goes here. Oh look, spider goes in the spider pen. Extremely happy to be in his own pen. Reptile. You can go in the reptile pen. Blackbird pen, you have a, a rat in there, don't you? Yep. 
rat. Go back to the rat pin. Blackbird, you can go back in your own pen. I think they said the other two were just happy the way they were. The bat, yeah, so. Bat and snail, you're probably already in the right spot. Alright, how are we doing? Looks like everyone's in the correct place now. Let's see if we can open that chest. Chest, grab one. You magic slate. Oh, that was just the positions where everything went. Talk to Lottie. Where's my wand? Did it appear? And well done, you got all the creatures in their proper place. Did you get that broom of yours enchanted by Betty? I guess my wand must be here and I just don't see it. Not quite yet. Remind me of what I need to do. Of course, now that you move all the creatures in the proper pens, you should be able to get a wand out of that chest over there. Okay, where's the wand? Ooh. Take that wand to Betty, she'll enchant the bird. Right, where's the wand? It's not in my pack. Do not see a wand. Maybe I should have opened it and saw it in there. It's empty. I swear it's empty. Search chest. You search the chest and find the wand. There it is. You can't just open things, you have to search in them. Don't forget that. Magic slate disappears. Good. I need that space. Alright, talk to her about swept away. Got your wand for you. Bring the broom to me, I'll enchant it for you. Okay. I bet I put it in the bank. Dang it. Seriously, this is getting ridiculous. there a picture of like a chest or something? Is this it right here? Bank, over here. Why the heck is it that far away?
Oh, here it is. Mark it over here. So if I go straight east, it should eventually get there. Okay. I'm close. Is it inside? It is inside. Okay. Alright, we're looking for a broom. I can dump a bunch of stuff. Not a broom. Not a broom. Right towards the end. Broomstick. Here we go. Withdraw one broomstick. I'm looking just in case I have two brooms, one that's special and one that's not. Looks like just one. Okay. So I can deposit stuff. I can start depositing. I can bury those bones when I get outside. Deposit all bark. Deposit black. Deposit foot. Deposit that. Don't know what to do with those. Deposit rope. Betty's one. Wooden incense. All right, good enough for now. Then I go back west, talk to Betty. I could look on the map and click on Betty's house and they would walk all the way there. Nope. Of course not. Broomstick. 
Got your wand for you. Got your broom for you. There you go. Just the spice she's looking for. Many thanks. Alright, so that's part one of that particular quest. Cool. Alright, well, I think that's a good stopping point for this particular stream. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll definitely continue this next time. Um, I will go ahead and put up the...